you're not gonna believe how old this box is. This package is from December. I ordered it on December 25th. I learned if you wanna catch a good deal, make sure you're shopping on the holidays. I feel like I wanna say, gosh, I'm so sorry, this box is so old. But I'm not, that's not what my channel is about. It's not what I collect. I'm not a new release girl. I, I buy what I like. 50% of that is old. Some of it's new. Like this. <laughs> I'm so excited! I think a lot of these are still available. I got these all for about half price. There's one I paid full price for and when you see it, you will understand. Let's get to it, shall we? <laughs> you ready? Boom! My first jumbo pop. <laughs> I just love her so much. She is not staying in the box. She's beautiful. <laughs> oh man. This is why I still buy Funko Pops. Ooh. You know I'm so mad. You hear me say it all the time. I was late to the Funko game. I was. And the very first Maleficent Dragon form Funko Pop is fire. And of course I can't get my hands on it. I can find it used out of box, um, but the tail is usually broken on it. And so when I came across this beauty for $12, there was just no way. There was no way I was gonna let her go. And like, I was excited about her, but I lost my marbles when she showed up. You know how there was a season where Funko kind of like really slipped on the quality and the paint jobs were just, it was real 50-50. And when it wasn't the good side of 50, the paint job was trash. They have really stepped up their game. So I'm, I'm impressed. Not a huge Sleeping Beauty fan. So I think that's why I don't get overly excited about Maleficent. I love the three fairies. The three fairies have my heart. I can never pick a favorite. There's just no way. There's no way. Anyway. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Oh, fire. No idea, no idea if these are still available. Who do I have next? The reason I went to the site. I've been watching this pop for a hot minute. I have learned over the years, I have a thing for Cruella. But this Cruella, ooh, this Cruella. Out of the box, because that's who I am. She was on sale and then it went back up and cause I'm so cheap, I was like, nah, I'll wait, I'll wait. So yeah, Christmas day, I was just shopping and there she was half off. Look at her, look, okay, look at the details. The hair, the curlers. Do you guys remember the scene? Oh, the anger, the telephone, this little end table right here, her robe, the newspaper. So she's human face, right? I'm kind of breaking my rules. And again, uh, Funko Pops got, it's Funko. I don't have to tell you the round head. So very much not Cruella. Cruella has this very rectangular, elongated, but it's every other detail they provided that I fell in love with. Uh, the WDCC has a gorgeous Cruella in this getup, but she's in her bed on the phone, I think. But I bet you that thing's over a thousand bucks. So I settled for an under $5 Funko Pop to get me these Cruella details. I'm not sad, I love it, I love it, I love it. You know what makes me sad? It's a Funko exclusive and she was available. She wasn't selling off the shelves, but I guess that's just me, right? I, I like the weird stuff. I guess I'm grateful that not everybody does because then my cheap behind can come in and get it for clearance prices. I don't know. I just feel like collectors are missing out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Speaking of Funko and the paint job, the details on the phone. This is where Funko a few years back, it would just come all globby and nasty and you would just have to like accept it. And you could buy six of them and they'd all have the same garbage paint job. 
This is so fire. This is so good. Like her lipstick and her teeth. The paint isn't smudged. I can't believe they did the phone so well. So this was the reason I was on the website. Oh, she's a beauty. God, she's gorgeous. I love her so much. <laughs> Thank you, Funko. You did it. You did it. Mmm. Mmm. Cruella is, I, I'm learning, like, Zerg. I just have a love affair. My rule of only collecting one item of each character, Cruella and Zerg <laughs> and Donald Duck. <laughs> I just, no rule, no rule whatsoever. <laughs> of all the Cruella Funkos though, this is the only one I have because again, the human face pop, don't love it. The details on this one, I had to do it. I had to do it. It feels like sometimes I have these rules just to break them. That feels like my personality. Okay, what's next? <sighs> we'll show you the one I paid full price for. The only one I paid full price for, cause... Yeah! Because you would too. Wishlist Grail is the original Prince John. You can find him with the gold crown. Out of box, last I checked, it was still around 70 bucks. It must have been one of the first wave pops. So when the anniversary, it's this year, right? The anniversary of Robin Hood, they released the new wave. I was so looking forward to Friar Tuck. Why? Because I love a good side character. I love these characters that are just kind of like in the background, right? The execution on Friar Tuck was weak. I was so disappointed with the Friar Tuck. Miss that first Prince John. The second Prince John. Oh! <laughs> Looking at him, I can just hear his little voice. Look at him! So yeah. I was getting free shipping. I had all these discounted Funko Pops. I was willing to pay full price. Can you imagine me? Because look at him! How could I say no? Oh my god! Oh, the little rings! <laughs> He's smiling on this pop. I don't think his first pop he had a smile. Then again, those first pops, those pops don't really have expression. I mean, I'd still love to have him. Because he's the OG. Prince John. Villain. I have a type, I guess. Okay, oh, I was surprised by this one. Oh my gosh! Guys, tell me more. I have not seen, I mean, I hadn't seen Winifred in the stone form. I know they have so many uh, Sanderson sisters, wave after wave of Funko. I'm like, meh, eh, mm, mm, mm. Stone form? I hadn't seen it. Something different, something unique. So my hope is that they're gonna release the other two sisters in 2014, hopefully before Halloween. I haven't been paying attention to my pop gossip, to my Funko websites or web channel, you, wow, YouTube channels. So I don't know. What do you guys know about the other two? Are they coming? Am I right? Am I going to see them this year? Okay, so when they released Hocus Pocus 2, I was like, how are they going to end it? How are they gonna end it? What are they gonna do? I thought this was awesome. I really liked the way that they ended Hocus Pocus 2. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this before. Winifred's front teeth! Can you see that? <laughs> also, Bette Midler. I was not a huge Hocus Pocus fan until it became really campy in recent years. It was Bette Midler for me that really pulled me back in. It's those actresses that really made me fall in love with the movie. I really want the other two sisters. The other two to have all three in stone form. Mm. Please tell me that my wish is going to come true. Yeah, I think she was another one that was half price. Funko Christmas Day. I know. What a weird thing to hear in March, but... And you know, what if... God, editing takes me forever. It might even be April. It's just the truth.
Okay, the last two. I got problems, guys. I love a droid. <laughs> and it makes sense, right? I'm always talking about I don't like human face on a lot of, you know, Funko Pops or Jim Shore or whatever. The details, I think, are a lot easier to execute and get more accurate on a droid. And like this Ned B, it's the same situation with like Funko Pop head. But I, it, it works for me. But maybe that's just because I never met a droid I didn't like. And this, this cat, Chopper, yes. And then a half price, yes. <laughs> and then a free shipping, yes. I had my eyes on this one for a hot minute. This one I just assumed I wasn't gonna get lucky that they would sell out before I'd get my hands on it. So when, it was a real easy add to cart. I'm so mad that I didn't start collecting Star Wars sooner with all the droids. Can you see that back there? It's one of, it's like a little bit of glare right there. It's, I've got a, a Lego last year for my birthday oh my gosh almost a year ago to be fair I got two of them and I finally just put my tie fighter together but that droid is gonna look so dope you guys might not even be able to see it but look at this baby I'm such a secondhand hunter that I'm hopeful that maybe I'll come across the rest of my droids you know over time this one I'd seen a while ago, and I remember watching on, is it Mandalorian? There were a couple scenes with this cat that I was like, when I saw his Funko Pop, I'm like, oh yes, I have to have him. I have to have him. <laughs> Ain't beautiful? Look at these details. See what I'm saying? I mean, I know it's not news. If you're a Funko Pop collector, you know. There was a season where the paint job was garbage. And now look at this baby. Details, paint job. Sorry, I got the shakes. Half off. I know it's March, maybe even April, but shopping on Christmas day, I'm saying. <laughs> I spent 50 bucks total on everything I just showed you, plus shipping. 50 bucks. That's why I'm saying shop on Christmas day. Funko, send me a check already, gosh. Yeah, right, I talk so much garbage. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Did you also shop on Christmas day and get a crazy good deal? Uh, which one is your favorite? I can't, right? Like I said that earlier, you can't pick. I can't pick a favorite fairy. I can't pick a fun favorite Funko. How? How? They're, I cannot make a decision. Both of these are just fantastic villains. The pops are amazing. This detail. I've been chasing after him for years. I can't choose. And then, and then. How? How could she come second to anything <laughs> You know, I get a little anxious every time I look at her because I cannot imagine how I'm going to display her to her worth. <laughs> In my museum, I'm just like, I, I, I don't have an idea. And any idea I do have, I don't have enough space. It's ridiculous, right? It's so silly. Playing with my toys for me is staging them, styling them, you know, creating little vignettes. So most of the time I see something and just bang, it comes to me. It's like, oh, I have this Jim Shore. Uh, this Funko Pop's gonna look great with it or this little piece of art or a big piece of art. But yeah, the vignettes come to me. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like it isn't, it doesn't just show up. And so often it does. Like that's why I have this room because I just love to play with my toys. I like to decorate, I like to stage. That's my dream job. People always ask you like, if you could do anything, if you could do it all over. I don't know what it's called, but some sort of artistic design. When you're in Disneyland, I can only say Disneyland because it's the only one I've ever been to, and you're walking by the shops and you see the window display and they've got all of the merch styled in such a way. I could die happy. I could just do that forever. Just style Disney merch.
<laughs> so on the rare occasion that nothing comes to me and nothing comes to me, I kind of like start to twitch. I'm uncomfortable. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I still had to have her. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, I say that every time, don't I? But it's so true. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious how true it is. Let me know if you have a favorite pop. Let me know if you have any of these pops. I'm going to wrap it up and we'll see you in the next one.